This fall, Beyond the Bell opened with a bang. Our 160,000 students laid the groundwork for what promises to be a great year for the before and after school programs. Back in September, 287 high school students in our Take Action Leadership Campaign attended the annual Training of Trainers event. LA, the 41 schools that are here. In addition to learning how to improve their leadership and interpersonal skills, students planned service projects and fundraisers they would host over the coming year. We're here to help you show you the way, get out of your way, and let you lead us into the future. What you guys do, how you do it, is impressive. I want to thank you for taking the time to become engaged, looking at school and saying, I'm going to make more out of myself, I'm going to make more out of my school, and I'm going to help my community starting now. Yay! Across town, our middle school Take Action campaign students were doing the same at the leadership and training event. It's also about the service, helping other people. And each month you guys are going to do different projects. This month was backpacks, so different projects every month. There are currently 280 students representing 36 schools enrolled in this program. You're going to be going on a college tour, and it shows in March. Many of you guys will be taking a trip to local colleges to find out who wants to get into college, guys, in the future high school. 450 students representing 148 teams kicked off Cyber Patriot 7 the Air Force Association's nationwide cyber defense competition with Cyber Day LA. This morning there were 99 teams. We have our 100th team registered and to formally accept them and launch our 100th team. We're good. 100 teams! We need to change the nation for good. We need to attract more bright young men and more bright young women to science, technology, engineering, and math. Beyond the Bell has also continued its partnership with the LA84 Foundation to bring athletics to our middle school kids. 1,826 girls and 2,987 boys spent eight weeks learning how to play flag football. Students also took part in the eight-week-long rugby program hosted by Beyond the Bell, LA84, and Rugby USA. Our elementary students and their families took part in the Getty Foundation's Getty Getaway Program. These field trips gave entire school communities the chance to explore the Getty Center on the weekends. Parents and children enjoyed the gardens and admired the museum's world-famous art collection. In association with Star Education, we hosted the annual STEAM Nation Lights On After School event. Today, it's just going to be a fun day for you. Fun day, you're going to get excited about what you can do, about what you can play with, and about what you can learn. We have some exciting things for you to do today. All we ask for you to do is have fun, enjoy, 
and maybe you're gonna learn a little something along the way. 563 of our elementary and middle school students descended on West Los Angeles College to take part in a variety of workshops and exhibits showcasing science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So we're gonna let the gas out little by little as we crush it into a ball. Here is our comet. We want you to leave this auditorium in, 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 a, in a half an hour and start dreaming about what you might want to do when you grow up. See, this, this is telling you what she's doing. This is what you said. How about reading that? Yellow. How could you do this to me, Blake, when my heart will never win? Good girl, that was great. You see, you did what you did. Speaking of the arts, Beyond the Bells Youth Orchestra Program, in partnership with the Harmony Project, is in full swing. The Harmony Project's high school group even got the chance to rehearse at Beyond the Bells Camp Skyhook at Pier Group. Beyond the Bells All District Marching Band rehearsals started in earnest. These 360 students are working hard as they train to march in the 2015 Tournament of Roses Parade. This band has let's go out to uh, partake on marching this 42nd consecutive Rose Parade. You're going to be walking in the paths and the shoes of the previous band. Everybody has only one expectation level for this band is to be the very best. All over the district, our academic decathlon students participated in scrimmages to prepare themselves for the final competition in spring. On November 9th, 4,700 Beyond the Bell elementary and junior high students took part in the world's largest financial literacy event. We came here because the people at this bank and the people who sponsored this and the groups that brought you care a lot about your future. Inside the Galen Center, they learned about the importance of financial savings and getting a good education. There's so much possibility here. They're trying to get you in a position where you can live your dreams. That's what happened to me. Because of these programs and many others like these, California is leading the nation in the foreign after school programs. To celebrate this historic milestone, the LAUSD Board of Education held a press conference at Romer Middle School. This after-school program with Al Cortez and his staff is a beacon of excellence. It shows us not only what is possible, what others are supposed to be trying to do. Tom Torlickson, State Superintendent of Public Instruction from the California Department of Education, joined the board in congratulating Beyond the Bell. Team, how do you spell it? T-E-A-M. And the team theme is, together, everyone accomplishes more. And I'm here to honor the team that has made possible these incredibly effective, wonderful programs for our kids' enrichment and our kids' safety after school. And truly the work of the Los Angeles Unified School Districts beyond the bell is notable, is excellent reputation across this country. California is leading the nation with new quality standards, a strong infrastructure, and true commitment to constantly improving after school programs. I'm honored to be here with the leadership from Beyond the Bell, whose terrific programs are an example of why California clearly ranks number one. 
California's number one in after school program. Quite, and we need to maintain that number one standing. It goes to show you how commitment to quality has impacted the lives of the youth and the families we serve each day, every day.